Hello and welcome to part 1 of the Meet IoTify series. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the IoTify simulation platform and some of the key features that make it indispensable for an IoT development workflow. To follow along with this series, you can sign up for a free account on our website iotify.io or get in touch with us for a demo. The topics mentioned in the videos will be covered in much more detail in our documentation. For those unfamiliar with IOTify, the platform offers a scalable and customizable IoT device simulation platform that can accelerate your IoT development workflow and validate your solution at a scale of millions of devices. IOTify enables you to create stateful device twins of your IoT nodes and intelligently simulate realistic scenarios in your device lifecycle. Head to our website iotify.io and click on the sign in button to get started. You can choose to log in with Google or create an account with your email address. Please note that you will have to verify your account before you can sign in if you create one with your email. Once you sign in, you will be greeted with a personal workspace assigned by default. IOTify allows you to have multiple workspaces to make collaboration and development cleaner and more straightforward. On the left, you will see the workspace selector, the navigation menu to access the various features, and at the bottom, you will find the profile settings. The test tab will display all the tests that you have created in this workspace. Once you run a test, you can view the results in the results tab. You can create and manage test parameters in the run settings tab. This controls the scale and frequency of your simulation and you can create multiple presets to make your workflow smoother. Scenarios allow you to chain multiple tests with success criteria and delays. This will allow you to mimic far more complex use cases and workflows. The Glob is a very fast in-memory database that all of the simulated device instances can access. Use this to persist your device state or to interact with your virtual device during simulation. Our custom metric engine enables you to gain key insights into your test. You can add metrics within the device model and view them here as the test is running. This is very useful in benchmarking and validation use cases. Lastly, the mailbox is an internal messaging bus that can be used to communicate between devices during simulation. This allows for simulations involving Bluetooth, Zigbee, Z-Wave or other LAN communication models where not all devices are exposed to the internet. We will cover each of these features separately in its own video. Please check the playlist on our YouTube channel if you wish to skip to a specific feature. 